Hello everybody and thank you for joining me again today. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial in the make the most of your stash and I'm going to be showing you how to colour with different colour mediums that you most likely will already have. Now we've probably already um, seen or perhaps have coloured with the alcohol ink markers and the watercolour pencils. But I'm going to also show you today that you can colour with your Distress Ink and your Dilution Ink Sprays. So let's get started. Now I've already pre-stamped out my four images, they're all the same. They are in different inks though because when you're colouring with different mediums you do need to be conscious of the ink that you're going to use. So for instance in the alcohol ink marker you need to use the Memento ink and the other three which all involve uh, water brushing uh, the archival ink and these are in the jet black in the archival ink and the tuxedo in the Memento. So the first one we'll do is the alcohol ink marker and I've just selected four colours um, you know you depending on what your image is will depend on what your colours are so you know they're just colours that would be suitable for this image so I'm not going to be doing any shading but I just I want to show you the the differences that you get with the different colour mediums and uh, they all come up really lovely so it does make whatever you are buying in your stash a lot more economical when you can use them for other things than, than what Alcohol ink markers, um, I'm using the uh, brush nib. Uh, it, as you can see, it is very fine. Um, whilst it doesn't look all that fine, it does uh, go on very fine and, and you can get into really small detailed areas like these on the, on the petals here. Uh, it also has the chiseled and if you were doing a, a, a block of colouring as well. So that's the alcohol ink markers. Now the next one that I'm going to do is um, done with the archival ink and I'm going to do it with my watercolour pencils and a water brush. Now if you didn't have a water brush you could just as easily use a normal uh, brush with a bowl of water and um, I will also use that water, I sometimes find it easier to just um, get the ink off between um, colours. Now I will also uh, have on already a um, just a, a bit of um, paper so that when I want to clean my brush off I can just do that on this piece of paper here. So with watercolour pencils um, you can colour the whole image in, in one go. Um, how bright it turns out will depend on how much colour you actually put on in the first instance. This is not watercolour paper, so you don't want to saturate it with water, otherwise you will start to lift the fibres. Um, so we'll get going and, and uh, colour this one in, and you'll be able to see the differences as we go on. Watercolour is traditionally a lot lighter, and it has that more watered look. Um, it, 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 no, no. Now you don't need to fill in your colour, uh, in, colour it in, in full because that's what your, your water brush is going to do. So just make sure you have got enough water in there, you just press on the, the belly of it and that's full of water and more water will come down. If you get too much water you can just wipe that off as well. So your water brush is designed to fill in um, and break down that colour. So. Um, with the colouring in, just you let your water brush essentially do the work for you. And again, it has a, a fine tip on it as well. 
and you do need to change, uh, wipe off the colour when you change colours, uh, otherwise you will transfer colours into the other colour. So as you can see, the watercolour brush also has a very fine uh, nib on it as well. Uh, so you can quite easily get into and do those small areas. And you can definitely see the differences between watercolour and the alcohol. Um, the alcohol ink markers is a lot brighter. But watercolour, that's what it's designed to be, is that soft watercolour. So the next one we will do is the distress inks. Uh, and the watercolour brush and I've just got a craft mat here um, because we will just need to put a, a small amount of ink onto the corner uh, and pick it up with the water brush. Now you don't need a lot of um, ink when you're doing this. Uh, it's just a tiny bit and it, it's amazing how much it picks up. So just something as small as that amount is enough um, and then just pick it up with your water brush and colour in the same way that we have already been doing. Uh, and again, you do need to make sure that your brush is cleared of the ink colour to move on to another. So that's the uh, Distress inks and the watercolour brush. As you can see, uh, again, another completely different uh, colour. So the last one that we're going to do is the Dilution ink sprays and the watercolour brush. Now these also um, you need very, very little. They are a very vibrant colour um, and take very little to, to do this type of colouring in. And again, um, you need to be careful that you are not putting too much water onto your paper as this isn't watercolour paper um, and you may start to break down the fibres if you introduce too much water. But as you can see um, to what I've already done so far with the water brush, um, that amount that I've done is not going to worry that, that paper at all. So this is the Dilution ink. Now for this um, you, you just need to tap a little bit out onto you, your craft sheet. Just a few drops really is all that you need. And again, pick that up with your watercolour brush. These colours come out very vibrant um, because they are already vibrant colours. They don't lose a lot of their vibrancy when you're doing it with the watercolour. All of those finished and as you can see that last one, the Dilutions paint um, in ink spray, you need very very little uh, to make a, a lovely watercolour image. Um, 
and they, they retain their vibrancy. They are beautiful. I love my Dilutionings. So they're the four that we've got. Um, the first one was the Memento Tuxedo Black using the alcohol ink markers. Then we had the next three using the alcohol, uh, sorry, archival ink in the jet black and the watercolour pencils and the water brush, the distress inks and the water brush, and the dilution ink sprays with the water brush. All three of them have produced different colours. So it gives you such a wide range of different looks, um, but using a watercolour, except for the alcohol ink marker, um, technique. So. It is really using the most of what you have in your stash to colour your images. So there are lots of things that you can do that you might not have thought that you could use that product for. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.